guys. How are things? I hope you had a good, fantastic Sunday morning. Well, while enjoying my morning beverage, I'm uploading this video for you. Now, people may wonder why I'm training my mind again. To that, response is, if you don't train your mind to know where all thoughts are, weird things may occur. As I pre previously stated in one of my audios, that disappointment is not an emotion you want to foster. So please take your time to listen to it carefully all the way to the end. Are you daydreaming or nightmaring? Whoa! <laughs> please like, subscribe, and remember to comment. See you, see you in my next amazing audio. Enjoy and chill. When we talk about deliberate creating with all of you, it's much easier for you to hear us and receive us when we talk about you lining up with what you want if it doesn't include another person if it includes another person you usually trip yourself up because you think that other people and their intentions if they don't harmonize with yours might get in your way that's what we mean when we say life is coming to you but it feels to you like it is coming at you because it feels like others in your world are asserting things at you that you might not want it's hard for you to get your thoughts around and accept finally that you are the attractor because you are the expector because you are the thinker because you are the vibrator because you are the offerer of your thoughts you see someone brought some beautiful crystal items to Esther early on in her experience with us and she was told that they represent energy that they are energy that they have power and so Esther said to us Abraham which one should I choose and we said if what you have just heard is true get the biggest one <laughs> and then we said and take it with you everywhere you go because if it represents the power that you want and you want power then take that with you and of course Esther could feel our fun that we were having because the biggest one was big she could not imagine taking that with her everywhere that she went and we said you are the vortex it's your vibrational frequency that lines up with this energy that creates worlds we want you to feel the power of who you are but sometimes the way to recognizing this power is by using your ability to focus upon things that have no resistance so if someone teaches you to focus upon this crystal and you have no negative thought about it and you focus upon it there's a clarity in that focus that allows your vibration to rise and of course you are then more powerful because you're not contradicting your own energies you see does the crystal itself have a vibration because like if there's a table full of crystals say you might be drawn to one in particular with no good reason you've missed our point completely okay <laughs> of course everything has a vibration and therefore everything has a relationship with you but the relationship that we want you to be most aware of is the vibrational relationship between you and your inner being now your relationship with the crystal because it has no resistance then may very well in fact most often does enhance your relationship with your inner being because your focus upon that causes you to offer a clear vibration which makes you hook up with your inner being your relationship with the cat who is selfish and never judging you and not mad at you when you're not there and not particularly thrilled with you when you are a pretty good example of someone who is tuned in tapped in turned on so your relationship with that cat could be like the crystal something that is conducive to you allowing your vibration to rise your relationship with this man whom you felt addicted to whole other thing because sometimes your attention upon that caused you to tune in and sometimes your attention upon that caused you to plummet and that's what we mean when we say looking for love in all the wrong places looking for alignment in all the wrong places you can discover as the person before you was demonstrating with very clear words you can discover your alignment through your desire to find it and you can be so in tune that nothing sets you off your game Esther would want to claim to be there but it just took one missing suitcase to make her realize that she's still focusing on people for satisfaction and feeling forgotten and not considered and not very important 
as if they owed it to her to hold her in that regard and we promise you if you're going much beyond a stone looking for that you're not going to find it consistently with other people because it's not their job not one person was born saying I will hold you as my object of attention and you can always look to me for your power clarity and strength not one person was born but that's what you assigned to your mates that's what you owe to me and when they go ahead and just be human you get all freaked out I felt really good when you gave me your undivided attention but when you took it away you have let me down <laughs> and we say it's always available to you your source never ceases to hold you as an object of attention and not just an object of attention but an object of absolute knowing that everything that you've expanded to can be something that is manifested into your experience right now if you will let it be mm -hmm. so I'm I guess I just need some clarification as to why these particular things are people. What is it about the particularness of them? Well, when you think about it, there's a lot of reasons through life. Someone was rude. You wanted them to be nice. Someone didn't understand you. You wanted them to understand you just through your experience of textures and colors and experiences. You have defined all kinds of preferences. And those preferences reveal themselves to you at different times in different ways we must give you this basis before the next thing we say will make sense to you so most humans are looking at humanity or at physical life on the planet in their desire to understand it they are comparing which is all right it's part of the contrast comparing cataloging pigeonholing defining and putting things into groups because humans want to understand we love that about you so you take all of humanity or experience and you put it in piles and there's the Republican pile and the Democrat pile and there's the Jewish pile and the Catholic pile and the Protestant pile and so forth and there's the gay people and the straight people all these piles so many piles that you couldn't even count all of them so many piles of differentiation or you might say preference and your inner being says about all of these piles we see only two there's a pile of those who are in this moment under the influence of source and there's a pile of those who in this moment are not under the influence of source or under the influence of something else in the democratic pile there's those under the influence of source and those not and in the Republican pile there's those under the influence of source and those not in other words every pile has those distinctions but most humans haven't identified within themselves what influence they were under when they made different decisions about different things let's say that you're at home and you're alone and you've been watching a movie or a news report or something and for whatever reason you're not tuned in tapped in turned on you're feeling sort of vulnerable and sort of lonely and you've activated that end of the stick and now you've activated all the other ends of that stick and from your loneliness you feel like reaching out to someone well from your loneliness when you reach out you're gonna find that end of their stick too but let's say you took a hike and you felt the energy of your own being and you breathed fresh air and you saw a cat or you admired a stone or you meditated or any of the other millions of wonderful things that you might do in this body on this earth and you have raised your vibration to this place of pure positive energy and now a thought that comes to you about an individual is from that end of the stick you see what we're getting at entirely different people occur to you think about the people you call and how you feel when you call them when you're on fire with excitement do you call your complaining friend <laughs> and so it's nice to at least want to be aware of where you're at when you are receiving thoughts because thoughts are occurring to you when you're under the influence of source 
in which case it's coming right out of your vortex in which case it feels good while it comes and you can feel the power of it and if you can stay on that trend you will discover the power of that or there's also power nowhere near in comparison but it can feel pretty powerful you can get off on a negative jag and suddenly everybody you're talking to is complaining about that same thing Esther could really stir up a lot of trouble for United Airlines if she was inclined to do so she could blog about it she could call all of her friends there are millions of them never ever fly United Airlines so in terms of like if you have a particular person in mind you've talked about like the concept of blurring the lines and daydreaming and and I get that that is something to do when you are under the influence of source but I guess I would like a little bit more clarification on just on that subject in general and I guess in relationships as well here's where we thought you were gonna go because you all like to think in other words oh you are creative beings and focusing is what you were born to do and so you don't want a still mind you want to focus and you will focus we're just asking you get out ahead of it and choose your vibration before you focus can you feel that because if you're not tending to whether you're out ahead of it or whether you're not your impulse to focus will still reign supreme and you'll focus on something you're never standing still you are in every moment either making your world better or you're making your world worse and by your world we mean your personal world in every moment in other words you're never standing still so the question that we're asking you is are you under the influence of source in which case the focus that you're focused upon is collecting things from your own vibrational reality from your vortex and are you really moving in the direction of what you've already vibrationally created in which case you feel enormous satisfaction or is your impulse to focus and it is a strong impulse to focus taking hold even though you didn't get out ahead of it you listened to something you talked to somebody on the telephone you got off on some negative jag and now off you go so here this is the distinction that we're asking for we're asking you to daydream not nightmare <laughs> now just think about it because if you're under the influence of source and thoughts are just dropping into your mind there are thoughts about improvement or thoughts about beauty or thoughts about fun things to do or maybe thoughts about entertaining or thoughts about traveling or thoughts about improving something or thoughts about remodeling something or thoughts about purchasing something that is delightful to you or thoughts about making love with someone or thoughts about having a wonderful conversation with someone when you're tuned in tapped in turned on and you're receiving those thoughts that's what those thoughts feel like but if you are not under the influence of source but still the law of attraction has hold of you now your thoughts are thoughts about worry and what's going to happen with this and I wonder where that's leading to and what's going to become of them and what are they going to be like when they grow up and if they don't understand this then where are they going to go and sometimes you get on these jags where you're worried about somebody that you care about or you're worried about yourself or you're feeling sorry for yourself or you're feeling sorry for someone else and what we want you to stop and do when you catch yourself doing that is saying oh my god I'm nightmaring right now I'm not daydreaming I'm not under the influence of source so I'm not allowing the wonderful reality that I've created to come more into fruition I'm allowing the reality that I don't want that I've created to come into fruition because something is taking form all the time it's the nature of this universe of motion forward evolution is happening you get what you think about whether you want it or not so this conversation best conversation ever by the way really this conversation is about finally getting out ahead of it which means care about how I feel care about what influence I'm under care about where the thoughts are coming from that I'm receiving and that I'm downloading care about what momentum I've stepped into and that I'm adding clarity of thought to you want to direct your thought that's why for many people when we talk about meditating they don't really want to meditate because they don't want their mind to be quieted and we get why your minds are active you've trained them to be so they're responsive to what's going on around sometimes people will say I'm very sensitive to energy and we would like to say instead of saying I'm sensitive to energy say I'm susceptible to energy I'm susceptible to it so if I'm not tuned in tapped in turned on 
then I could be susceptible to somebody who feels sorry for themselves or somebody who doesn't like something about me or somebody that's worried about this and off I go on a train of thought that is unproductive and self-destructive and then I come to conclusions that are flawed and erroneous such as I must not be blessed I must not be loved when it's all about what you're choosing to set your tone on yes mm -hmm.